Hey y'all, welcome to the Neighborhood News with Real Estate Katie. This is our weekly show where we showcase different neighborhoods across the greater Phoenix area. Find us and previous shows on our YouTube channel. Our handle is at Team Evo AZ. I hope you enjoy the show. Good morning, everyone. It's Real Estate Katie, and I am back with another episode of the Neighborhood News. Happy Monday. I hope you all had a very wonderful, very restful weekend. Halloween is coming up. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Um, But anyway, that's not what I'm here to talk about. As you know, with the neighborhood news, we talk about a different neighborhood around the valley each week, um, and that's the Phoenix, Arizona Valley. And it could be north, south, east, west, any one of the suburbs or little towns surrounding. So today we are actually going to the Levine area. I was shopping with some clients over the weekend and they were looking at land and we stumbled upon this little area known as Young's Acres. So if you guys don't know about it, I'm gonna tell you all about it today. It is a pretty cute little community and the homes are on larger lots as you might um, have gathered from the name. So let me share my screen here and I will show you where Young's Acres is. Come on, share, there we go. Just going to get adjusted here, but Young's Acres is again in the Levine area and it's over off of 35th Ave and Baseline. So just south of Baseline, just east of 35th Ave. And as you can see, when I zoom out here, it's just a couple of miles from the 202, that new 202 that just got put in recently, and also South Mountain Park and Preserve. I love this 202. I live in the Ahwatukee area, so over here, and it is just now a hop, skip, and a jump to get over to the west side or vice versa, coming from this area to get uh, to the east valley, southeast valley, or the Ahwatukee area is super simple with this new 202. I'm loving it. But anyway, let's talk a little bit about the history of the area. And I love this history. This is my favorite part of the show. But anyway, I love the history of Levine and there's a little bit more to it, but but here is kind of the beginning. During the early 1900s, Walter E. Levine and his family established their homestead covering all four corners of what is now 51st Avenue Dobbins Road. On the Southeast corner of this land, they constructed a general store called the Levine Store. The Levine family also generously contributed adjacent land for the construction of a school, which was completed in 1913, and that was called Levine School. In 1908, the Del Monte Market, which still stands today, was the area's second general store, and that was erected at the intersection of 27th Ave and Dobbins Road. It is the oldest surviving structure in Levine. I thought that was pretty cool. There was a little story that was done on it, I want to say by News Channel 12. I don't know. I got it pulled up. We'll check it out in here just a second. By 1915, the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation officially recognized the community as Levine, noting a population of less than 25 residents. It's a few more now. (laughs) In March of 1918, Walter Levine assumed the role of the community's postmaster, operating the post office within the confines of his store. Walter Levine also served as the sheriff in Pinal County, Arizona. And, oh, it was AZ Central that did a story. Let me pull that up for you guys. So AZ Central did a little story a few years back, back in 2014. Wow, the year my son was born, um, about this store. And again, it still stands today, and it's the Del Monte Market. So if you love history like I do, head on down there, or maybe you're in Levine, and check out this market if you haven't been there yet. Cool little piece of history, guys. All right, so back to the community. What's on the market today, so we've got three properties that are listed as active. You can see them here. And they were built um, from the early 1900s until just this year. So one of these properties, it's actually this one right here at 3141 West Baseline, was built in 2023, which I thought was kind of cool. It's not the one that I'm going to feature today. The one that I'm going to feature is 3137 West Baseline Road, and that is listed by Best Homes Real Estate. Just jump right into that one. So again, these properties are big, guys, and they're not making any more land. So if if land is something that you want, you want to have chickens or just space to play or just space to spread out and and have your quiet time and not feel um, maybe that you're quite in the city, which is kind of how this neighborhood feels. You're, you're close to all the things that you need to be close to, but kind of don't feel like you're in the city in this 
neighborhood, which is really nice. There are mountain uh, views in the background, which is which I love. I gotta gotta love a good mountain view. But this particular property is just shy of an acre. It's a four bedroom, two and a half bath, and it's approximately 2,480 square feet with a two car garage. So let's check out the photos here and see what this is all about. Like I said, lots of space, lots of land, you got some mature landscaping there, which I always love. Gotta love a big shade tree, especially here in AZ. As you can see, the mountains are off in the distance. And it's got some space inside there at almost 2,500 square feet. It's a good size home. You've got some what looks like uh, perhaps wood plank tile or, or maybe that lovely LVP that everybody is after these days. I can't quite tell which, is, which it is. I'm sure it says it in the description. Um, then we've got granite tile counters and it looks like they've painted these cabinets in a cool kind of almost gunmetal it looks like, or, or maybe it's black, it could just be the photos. Again, four bedroom, it looks like the primary has got an exit to the back patio. Lots of space in here, it looks like it's got some updates. Again, this one was built in the 90s, uh, 1992. Ooh, I lost my place there, sorry guys. I just wanted to double check that date and make sure I had that right. And then you've got this nice laundry room, which has a bit of extra space. I see an exterior wall. So it looks to me like laundry area maybe was outside and then was enclosed at some point, possibly. Do see a lot of that, especially in the older properties. Stucco exterior, you've got a tree house. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. And then you've got your concrete pad, which I'm sure you can put lots of things on, maybe even something that's built in. Not sure if this gazebo is built in, but I've seen some nice big built-in gazebos, which is really great and offers a lot of shade. So that is the property on baseline. There's no HOA in this community. I know a lot of you guys are after that. A lot of you guys love that. Um, HOAs are not a terrible thing, not a bad thing, but some of us don't like them. So this is the perfect neighborhood for those of you who don't check out the great schools link that I have here in the show notes and you can research the schools that are available in the area. So let's talk about what's going on in the area. Very close, you have a, an amazing golf course. It's an 18 hole championship golf course. And it of course has the pro shop where you can um, you know, get some golfing apparel, shoes, clubs, rent clubs, golf bags, accessories, and all of that kind of stuff. So that is super close, guys. If you are a golfer, then this is, I mean, it's just within minutes from this community. The Cesar Chavez Skate Plaza, I have heard is actually pretty cool. And it is open from dawn until dusk. So if you're a skater or your kiddo's a skater or family members are a skater and you don't know about this skate park, then check it out. Um, it sits on an acre of land and features nearly 10,000 square feet of skatable terrain consisting of five intersecting pathways that stretch through the park's landscape. So if skating is your thing, then this community is close to the super cool skate park. And then of course, my favorite South Mountain Park and Preserve. I love South Mountain Park and Preserve. I love all the hiking. It's such beautiful scenery. I mean, my gosh, we just have such a gorgeous city, guys. And on this website here, and again, I have linked all of these um, in the show notes. So it's just click and away we go. But they give you information on the trailheads and where they're located, plus a bunch of other information about the community here, um, excuse me, about the, uh, the park here. Then what we have upcoming is really exciting for the Levine area. So this article came out, I want to say at the beginning of 2023 from 12 News, and it's about the Levine Town Center. And it's the latest shopping center to be developed, and it's going in at 59th Ave and Dobbins Road. And I believe they are shooting for a 2024 opening, if I remember that right. So if that is something that is interesting to you, maybe you already live in the area, or maybe you're checking the area out because you want to move there, um, or what have you, then check this place out. It sounds like it's going to be absolutely amazing with retail dining and entertainment areas. 
And uh, this should be opening, like I said, in 2024. So check that out, guys. And then lastly, and as always, we have our amazing business owner, love to support local, love to support small business, guys. So today we are talking about Michaela Odell, and she is with Capital Accounting PC, and they do tax and accounting and payroll. So check that out if you are in need of a new accountant or if you're in need of an accountant at all. I know sometimes when we get into business, we don't have those things lined up right away, but then you find quickly that you need to. So check them out. And especially if your business is in need of somebody to handle payroll, that can be a headache guys. So definitely have somebody else handle it. Michaela is your girl. All right. Well, that is Young's Acres in Levine. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. Remember to hop on over to our YouTube channel if you want to check out any of the other neighborhoods that we've reported on. I think we're up to close to 90 at this point. So there are a bunch of videos out there, um, no matter which suburb you're interested in or even neighborhoods in Phoenix itself. We actually have them broken up. The playlists are broken up into um, their certain cities. So this particular video, for instance, is going to go in my Levine playlist. So if you're all about Levine, head on over to our YouTube channel at Team Evo AZ is our handle. Click on the Levine playlist and that's all you're going to get is Levine. Or if you scroll down just a little bit and click on the neighborhood news playlist, then you can scroll through the different areas that we have reported on. If you prefer the podcast version, then hop on over to your favorite podcast platform, do a quick search for Arizona Real Estate Radio, and that is where you'll find us. Until next time, guys. Bye. Hey, y'all. Welcome to the Neighborhood News with Real Estate Katie. This is our weekly show where we showcase different neighborhoods across the greater Phoenix area. Find us and previous shows on our YouTube channel. Our handle is at Team Evo AZ. I hope you enjoy the show.